Hi, Marcia. Hi, Sula. Hello. Hello. Welcome to our podcast. And what's its name? Twitch and Snitch. Stitch. <laughs> Snitch. <laughs> Brody and Slip. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Twitch and Stitch. And who are you? I'm Twitch. Otherwise known as Sula. <laughs> Uh, oh, sorry, and who are you? I'm Snitch. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I'm Marsha, also known as Very Little on Ravelry and Instagram. And that's it. And yeah. YouTube. <laughs> and I am known as Scylla, and I'm not on any social media. <laughs> <laughs> I like it though, I stalk other people's social media. It's terrible. I know, it really does. It's terrible. Um, oh my. So, yeah. it's a beautiful day here in Canada. It is. We had some snow. Um, Not the blizzards everybody else is, is having. We had a light skiff that turned into rain and disappeared. It was a we, quite nice, dust, nice dusting in the hills. Yeah, our grass is already growing and we already have... Um, Flowers coming up. What are they called? Do you know? No, I was gonna start guessing They're, flowers. The tools. ones, no, the ones <laughs> with the flat flowers? leaves, the purple flowers. Mom loved them. Oh, lavender, lilacs. No, 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 <laughs> no. I don't know. No. Oh, um, petunias. <laughs> petunias. I'm guess. No. Nope. Keep guessing. No, nope, we're good. We're good. We don't have violas. To. No. <laughs> So, anyway, <laughs> yeah, we have stuff sprouting up. So what are you working on, Scylla? Um, right now, I am knitting a scarf. Um, it's quite nice. I'm using a straight stitch. Um, I'll pull it closer so you can see it. Um, my gauge has been a little bit off every time I seem to stop. I pick it up a little bit tighter, so I'm going to work on that. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. It looks weird. looks like I dropped a stitch. Um, but yeah, so this is what I'm knitting. It's a scarf, um, for Twitch, the bunny. And so, yeah, it looks like I dropped a, does it look like I dropped stitches? Something weird happened. Yeah. I, I, I I'm not judging you. Oh. oh, it's the yarn. That's what it is. The yarn got finer? The yarn gets finer and chunkier as you go. So it's not the same width the entire way. So that's what happened there. Uh, there we go. So it's part of the pattern. It's a lovely, um, straight knit stitch that with the yarn. Um, so that is my current project. I started it tonight. I've been knitting it for about half an hour. And yeah, I'm hoping to finish it before bed tonight. Nice. And Marcia, what are you working on? Is that all you're working on? Yes. Okay. That is it. Now, myself, I'm a promiscuous <laughs> knitter. I'm a knitting slut. I like she likes all, the, all knitting, the projects. All the time. <laughs> And they like her, too. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> what I'm working on right at this second for my podcast knitting is, um, so last night I was looking on Instagram for some ideas for a cowl, and, um, and the, the mood struck me to cast something on right away. And we'll get into the, the reason why it's a cowl, um, later but um but nobody like there was only one suggestion made and it was already after I had cast this on so what I'm knitting with is it's called um three Irish girls yarn and it's so pretty. so pretty it it looked great in the skein and I had difficulties deciding um what I was going to which skein I was going to use because I have two skeins of this. This one is called Blackberry Cobbler and it's so soft and squishy and I squish it up <laughs> and I wanted to do a cowl that is lace work. So I couldn't find one that was just drawing me in so I actually designed um, designed a cowl. Of course, of course she did. Last night. <laughs> no big deal. And it is, <laughs> it's a really pretty lace pattern. And here we go. That's better. So it's a really pretty lace pattern and it's got this like edge that kind of, it's not a straight edge, it scallops or whatever you call that. So, um, 
<laughs> the technical terms. Yeah. It does its thing and it looks really pretty. So I'm really enjoying that and it's going quickly. Um, it's the same, same stitch as this scarf is. So I'm doing that in a, in a cowl in those colors. And this scarf uh, I knit last May and it was, I just learned how to knit lace. Um, and I went away to a knitting retreat and I had just recently learned how to knit continental style. And so when I was doing my yarn overs, I was doing them wrong. So my knitting was looking obscure to say the <laughs> least. So they corrected my technique and then I really wanted to learn lace. So I just picked it up and, and learned it. Um, I've learned pretty much everything in the last, last two years. Yeah, last year was my quick. first year to knit a sweater and I've knit nine sweaters since, <laughs> since last year. I know I knit my first sweater. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. Um, sorry, this weekend I was really sick, so I was, um, yeah, I was watching all of the episodes of Friends, and for the first time I've never watched <laughs> Friends before, so I was watching Friends and just sitting and knitting and crocheting all weekend because I was, I was sick and I needed rest. Um, I'm, I also have on my needles these socks. I'm still working on them. This is my second one. It's just a straight, um straight knit and it's got a one by one rib at the top nice and stretchy um, I think it is 64 stitches oh and I'm knitting these sorry <laughs> knitting ADHD <laughs> I know <laughs> and oh ooh, back to the other thing um, these this is knit on um, chow goo 5.5 millimeter needles and these are um, the socks are knit on high high sharps and I I do believe they're 2.5s. Um, I usually knit them pretty small. I've most of my socks I do on twos now because my gauge is so loose. Yeah, these are 2.25s. So, yeah, those have been worked on a bit, and I spent the greater part of Saturday and Sunday working on um, my crochet granny sock blanket of awesomeness. Your, uh, what's it called? Scrappy square blanket. Scrappy sock granny sock. blanket. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kay's, Kay's got a lot of people on Instagram. Kay from, um, the Bakery Bears Bakery, has yeah. a lot of people on Instagram going on this. And I, as I said before, I used to crochet quite often. Um, in the pictures, this actually looks a lot bigger than it is. My squares, Compared to my hand, my hands are fairly small, but my squares are are fairly, or my diamonds, my diamonds, diamonds yeah. <laughs> are fairly small, so they like they'll fit into the palm of my hand. Yeah. And you can see the squares and diamonds my went diamonds. together quite well. Yeah. So yeah, as diamonds yeah. they go well, or as squares. So <laughs> yeah, it's it's coming along. Um, this is a really nice purple square. It's got a couple different shades in there. Um, yeah, it was really pretty. Yeah, that's a, a Regia Floor Mania one. Um, and that is, that's it on my needles. Um, last week I said that I would like to get my Plantago sweater off the needles. And I did. I In three days I yeah. had it done. And it so it's, I soaked it, um two days ago, three days ago. So it's blotting so, right now? <laughs> it's blocking right now. And it's still not dry. It's it's so wooly and like thick. And I ordered the zipper and the zipper is the zippers are expensive to get them custom ordered. <laughs> <clears throat> but it's um it looks great. It's gonna fit really well I believe. Yeah, it's beautiful. Well and I'll show you once I have the, the zipper in or once it's dry, it might be dry before the zipper comes in. Hopefully the zipper comes quickly, but um, yeah, that's what's on yeah. my needles and off. And off. <laughs> the Pente goes off my needles. Um, what's off your needles? What's off my needles? Okay, this is really, really exciting because I just knit my first sweater. Um, it, I still haven't blotted it and I'm going to. So you I work say that on purpose, don't you? I do now because it bugs you. Yeah. Ah. yeah. <laughs> Friendly. All right, so I worked really, really hard on it. So it took me about the same time as it took Marcia to do her sweater. 
And I knit with the yarn I've been using, and I would love to tell you what kind of yarn it is, but I don't know because I lost the tag and I've re-knit it so many times because I love it. Um, here is the sweater. Um, we'll show you a picture of it on um, at some point. This is, I just did a 2x2 two two rib for the collar. Um, and then I did a, add a stitch at the end, and apparently I didn't really know what I was doing to start, so it's all a little bit mangled in the first part, as you can see. But by the end, I had it figured out how to properly add stitches. And then, so it goes wide to about there, and it tucks in here. And so this is, this is the sweater I knit, and it tucks around like this, folds around like that, and that's sort of what it looks like on. We'll show you a picture. Oh yeah, the sweater is for Twitch the bunny. <laughs> <laughs> the sweater is for Twitch the bunny. And that is what's off my needles. Okay. Marsha, what's off your needles? Just my plantago. Oh, that was it. Okay, so we're <laughs> I love you. 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 <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> okay, we're ready now. Yes, let's yes. do it. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Psychology with Scylla. Hello, Scylla. Hello, Marcia. How are you today? I am wonderful. How are you? I'm excellent. And today, the thought-provoking question that we all want to know the answer to is why we should do the things that make us happy and how that relates to knitting. That is a good question, Marsha. Yes, I did a poll, dance, and uh-oh. <laughs> <coughs> Editing that part, no. <clears throat> Keep it in. <laughs> Just be like, no, keep this in too. <laughs> Jeez. Um, okay, back to character. So why, so why should we do the things that make us happy? Because happiness is the key to good life and the key to longevity. And what do you mean by longevity? Happy people live longer. Also, um, happy people age better. And so when you get older, your face stays, actually becomes wrinkly in the positions that you wear it. So say I smile, I'll get wrinkles in a smiley face. Your wrinkles will form around here and here, here and here. You'll get the beautiful crow's feet up here that just show that you've been happy your entire life. Maybe a couple that go down there. Those are happy lines. I really enjoy that my sister just pointed out my crow's feet. That <laughs> makes me happy. Technically, I pointed out your smile lines. <laughs> <laughs> I have smile lines too. I've earned every last one of them they're from very, smiling. They're very beautiful. So, Scylla, we would just like to know one other question. How does happiness relate to knitting? Well, everyone, when, and Marcia, when you, um, when you knit, you're doing something you enjoy. And besides the bilateral stimulation uh, benefits that we mentioned in our last podcast, um, knitting also, by doing something you enjoy and having a hobby, it stimulates your brain and it releases um, serotonin, which is the happy chemical. Thank you, Scylla, for another enthralling installment of Psychology with Scylla. Thank you, Marcia, for having me here today. And thank you for tuning in. Thank you very much. And you have a great rest of your week. It was great to see you again. Thank you. You too. And keep thank on you. smiling. Oh, thank you. Because you're beautiful when you smile. So are you. Thank you. And so are you. Yeah. Um, but I did want to talk about yarn. Would you like to talk about yarn? I'd love to talk about yarn. Okay. Um, first, I want to go back to your scrappy, my scrappy soft sock yarn blanket. blanket. So I have knit up all of my scrap yarn now. So I have some bags of squares, but I don't have quite enough squares to make it um, square. Make it, no, make it fit together and not look like I did matching squares. Because if you do them far enough apart, you can't really, really 
see them unless you're like looking for them like, like so that they're not close together so here's here's a light blue one down here so that light blue one and then there's a light blue one up here so they're they're far enough away that your eyes not drawn to it but um, I've started um, taking yarn from other skeins <laughs> that haven't started knitting with just to get more yarn to to um, work on this but um, soon I'll have some once I get my my cowl I'm working on done so and the socks you're doing right now Tim and the socks I'm doing so that's two but they're very close in color like I uh, you can tell what kind of colors she's drawn to I'm drawn to <laughs> isn't that insane they're both like purples and blues and yellows like I've never I thought I didn't like orange and then I started going through my scrap yarn and almost everything has orange in it. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, oh, orange is gross. Yucky. <laughs> Yucky orange. Yucky orange. That orange. What yes. is the orange doing in there? You know, and almost everything has like an orange or a shade of orange. There's a shade of orange in this one. That one has a shade of orange. That one is just orange. <laughs> this green has a nice orange in it. <laughs> um, that one's, well, that one's a peach. This it, one has orange in maybe it. Maybe you one don't has like orange, orange but orange likes you. Apparently <laughs> it's drawn to me. I, I wonder what that means. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't even know I was drawn to it, but I like, I like it with does blue. It mean? Like there's the blues. There's See, a, you're drawn to the blues. There's a blue in here that has orange and I really, okay, here's, Here's one that has like a yellowy orange in it with blue, but I really, I don't know why I like blue with orange so much. I like that one. That's, yeah. Yeah. I like the and neutral colors. This one I hand dyed and it's got orange in oh, it really too. I really like that one. Yeah. And it's so soft. Um, I can't see the, the one I'm talking about. I, ha I have the squares. They must not be in the blanket yet. We'll show but, them to you. Yeah. You'll see at it, some as point. it as it comes out. <laughs> But, um, so the cowl I'm working on was between this color in Three Irish Girls and this color in Three Irish Girls. So, there we go. Three Irish Girls. Three Irish Girls. Um, and we eeny, meeny, miny, mowed it. <laughs> As all good decisions are made yeah. with that. And then when the answer came up, we were both, it was this it was one that this was picked, one. and we were both disappointed. Yeah, so I was like, well, I really wanted the other one, so I cast on the other one. Um, <laughs> you know your true feelings when eeny, meeny, miny, mo makes you sad. You know what? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo actually draws out the truth. It does. It, you it's, know. It's an important elimination method. It's valuable. Yeah, I absolutely. I see the value in it, for Me sure. Me too. For sure. Um... Oh, working for years. You know, the other one I have on the needles is that, uh, that scarf, the, that I, it was a shawl and I played with it. That oh. has orange in it too. Of course it does. Orange <laughs> and blue. And I actually realized, Syl and I were talking and, um, we were talking about my, uh, what is this called? <laughs> Project bags. Project bags, yeah. Okay, so Syl's like, you do have another project bag that you made. And yes, I do have one other one that I made. It's the Japanese knot bag. But what I found, I have a, a large one and I do have a, a small one. And they are... Interchange. Totally reversible. Reversible. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't enjoy these as much as the zip-up ones because I have lost knitting needles. When I was doing four needles at a time mm -hmm. socks, I lost knitting needles and that made me so sad that I just, I rejected these bags for a while. <laughs> and I was using, I was doing this new cowl and it's big needles and it's circular so there wouldn't be any losing of the parts. But, uh, so I pulled this one out, but I generally like to use the zip up kind because it keeps everything Yeah, nice and everything's and protected. It's your turn, what? What? I get it. What? 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 Okay. It's her turn. So, um, I have decided today to. I hope you have a lot of uh, time left in your day because I've decided to show you my entire yarn stash. My whole stash. Okay. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Okay. We're going to start with this one. It's really, really soft. I like it. I like to pet it. This is the one that I like to pull out and pet and then eventually put back and then bring it out again and pet it. And I look like. 
Anyway. <laughs> and this one is actually, I got it for Christmas um, from a very, very lovely sister of mine. Bought it for me. Thought it was wonderful. Apparently, she might have shares in Malabrigo. Um, that's uh, the company or the type of yarn? <laughs> it's the brand of yarn. This is the brand of yarn. It's Malabrigo. I like how it's coming up backwards. Um, and this is the color, 75 Garden Gate. This is the color of my Garden Gate. It's a nice deep green, which is going to make a beautiful cowl. Because I think it will. And it's soft. Did so I, that's... Did I say what that's color one. this was? You did, okay. I think. <laughs> it's Cottage Garden if I didn't. And then Sorry. also, I have this one here, which is from Cascade... Cascade Yarns. Cascade Yarns, right there. It's a, a thinner yarn. It's a, a lighter weight, but it's super, 100% super wool. And it's really nice. And it's made in Peru. So Super wash. Oh, super wash wool. Anyway, it's made in Peru, so I'm looking forward to knitting with this. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet, so it's going to stay as it is for a little bit longer. Um, and... Last but not least, yeah, that's right. Last but not least, I have three balls of yarn in my entire stash. I have this one, and I love this yarn. I've knit with it before. It's wonderful. It's big. It's chunky. It's Magnum paints. And but it's by Cascade, right? Yeah, this one's also yeah. by Cascade. Um, and it's hand hand dyed, and so I plan on using probably number ten needles for this. I'm gonna have to check because I am going to. Um, use it to make my very first pattern. So I'm going to use this pattern. It's the rustical cowl shoulder warmer. There we are. Um, I also got that for Christmas in my stocking, so it makes me quite excited. Um, so this is what I'm going to knit over the month of February. Which and brings us to what is the month of February. What is the month of February? It's the greatest month in the entire world. Well, no, Just, October is, but... Besides Valentine's Day and everything. Well, February 2nd. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> so February is Scylla's birthday month. It's true. And so to celebrate her birthday month, we thought that it would be fun to have a cowl knit along. Because up until these last two things I've knit for Twitch, that's all I knit. Yeah. <laughs> so um, so that's why I'm knitting a cowl is for, in honor of Scylla, but it's all for me. <laughs> <laughs> and Scylla's going to knit a cowl too, and we're going to post pictures in Ravelry. I'll post pictures for Scylla. Thank you, Marcia. In Ravelry. Um, on, on our thread. I've already opened the thread, just introducing it. Um, and anybody who wants to join in, it's a, it's a just for fun knit along. It's going to um, be fun. Just yeah, for fun. Just for yeah, fun. Just for fun. And we want to see, time. yeah, <laughs> we want to see your pictures. And it's, it's because it's just for fun. Like you can pull pictures and whatever from what, wherever. So if, if you knit one last month and you really liked it, you can post it in there, write what you liked about it, what, yeah, what you didn't just like, for fun. just, just, you know, just to get some conversation going. Um, the song along went really well. Speaking of knit alongs. Oh, it went very well. I posted I, all my pictures. I knit a sweater for a bunny. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very productive. I didn't post your pictures in there. That's okay. I yeah. just finished it yesterday. But today, today, I finished it today. <clears throat> I had today. to finish it before today. the podcast. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, that went well. Um, let me see. We have a book review. We do. Um, it's very nice and it's Marsha's inspiration of the month. Yes. I love this book. It is a treasure, treasury of knitting patterns. It's, it, it's really good for, um, if you're designing, um, and it, you know, it's got, it's got all of the different, um, patterns for different stitches. It, it's what I'm using for my, uh, my pattern for this and for the cowl I did. And really like the defining factor for when I knit this mm -hmm. was what is the easiest pattern in here? <laughs> Can I ask you a very important question with that book? What's that? Does this book teach you how to cable? It does have cabling in it. Does actually. it have cabling? Yeah, it does. Because that's the next stitch pattern I would like to learn. As I'd like to learn. To yeah. Cable. So, oh, that's so pretty. That's way too complicated. Yeah. There's there's um <laughs> there's cabling patterns in there. Um, I just don't want to show all of the writing. Um, there's lace. There's um, edgings, knit pearl combinations. Um, 
There's so much. There's, I think there's four books in the series. You can, there's more? There's more. Wow. And this one, I believe, I believe I paid 35 Canadian, I want to say, for this book. Um, it's a schoolhouse press book. I'm sure you can find it online if that's how you prefer to shop. Um, but I, and it's by Barbara G. Walker. I really like it. And it's like, I, do, you, do you like it? I really like it. You know, I'm getting the impression that you kind of think it's okay. I do. I enjoy it. I think it's, yeah. I think it's really good. And there's, there's <laughs> so much in here, but how it's written, I don't want to show all the, all the patterns, but there's just, there's so many different stitches in here. So if you're a designer, this is really good because then you can like see how many, um, like to make a shawl, you can use different patterns for the different sections and see how many um, stitches are, how many multiples of stitches it is to complete each pattern. So you know that if you do a certain amount of increases, then you can increase into this next stitch pattern and that's what this is going to look like or, or whatever. So I think it's, yeah, I really like it. And it does I think have. She really likes it. It's got uh, <laughs> fair isle patterns in it too, so it does have color. Ooh, work. I like the fair yeah, isle. Yeah, it's got yeah. hound's tooth in it. You know, it's got some really cool, some cool, cool color works in there. Cool for you. color work, yeah. If you're a, a lover of the color. Yeah, it's really good. So as if, you can tell by our yarn, we yeah, to variegate. <laughs> if you're if if you're new to knitting and you want to learn something like that, that book is excellent. Like I wanted to learn lace so I cast on edge I cast on the amount of stitches that I needed and did enough for edge stitches and then just ended up making a scarf because I wanted to practice and practice and practice until I got it right and you know I learned about lifelines <laughs> and what's a lifeline so um, a lifeline is, well, it depends on, on the context, right? Like, I mean, if you're, um, tend to be older and tend to fall a lot, a lifeline is something you put around your neck and it alerts a medical professional if you've fallen and you can't get up. That is true. That is very true. <laughs> That's what a lifeline is. Um, as it pertains to knitting, I'm pretty sure that if you drop a stitch and you can't pick it up, that you can probably do the same. You know, press a button, alert a professional, and they'll come in and give you a hand. <laughs> okay. So a lifeline... <laughs> No? Wait, no? Is that right? No, no. Oh. I, but, but that's what I do. I'm I like, didn't want to I didn't want to hurt your feelings, but no. You're wrong. <laughs> you know what? I have a lifeline. Every time I drop a stitch and then I miss it, I'm like, Marsha! Yeah, I'm her help, lifeline. Help. And she's like, I'm in the middle of something. I'm like, no, you need to help me now. Yeah, and I'll be counting. And she won't <laughs> stop talking while I'm counting stitches. <laughs> she's worse than a child. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> I, I know who I am. I'm okay with that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm okay with you being who you oh, are too. Oh, good. <laughs> oh. So we're, a lifeline. We're all on our own journey. Okay, so a lifeline is when you um, run um, yarn through your knitting. And, and the easiest way to do it when you're doing lace is to run it through where your um, your needles are. So you would just take a piece of brightly different colored, probably smaller yarn mm -hmm. or thread even, and run it through along your, your wire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then just tie a little knot in it so that it holds the stitches. So if you have to rip back, you don't lose stitches. You don't rip back too far and it's still in an exact line where you need it to be, especially when you're doing. So would it, would it, would you do it where your pattern repeats? Is that where you put the lifeline? Well, some people are firm believers in putting it every, say, 10 rows. And if you are doing intricate lace work, which I have never done, so I should absolutely <laughs> not have an opinion on this. <laughs> oh, no? Personally, I would probably put it every 10 rows. Okay. Just because, and then mark on the pattern where you put it so that if you have to rip back, you're not trying to figure out where in the pattern you are. You're like, oh, that's where my lifeline is. That's where I went back to. Okay, let's start. Try it again. Good to know. Yeah, and then just pull the lifelines out after you're done, just in case you have to rip back like two lifelines. You're like, oh, I, I made a mistake two lifelines uh, ago. Two lifelines. Two lifelines ago. <laughs> Go all the way back. Two life. Um, yeah. So is that what you do in your heels for your socks? I know they're not lifelines, but it's the same 
No. No? No. It's, um... It's just a marker place? So you actually knit that yarn in. Oh, you knit it in? Yeah. Okay. And then you run your needles in to pick up the right leg of each stitch the, on the bottom and then the top. And then you pull the, the yarn out because you don't tie it in or, like, anything. So it comes out fairly easy. You just pick it out. And then it makes those stitches live. Ah. And then you put a toe in your heel. <laughs> it means it's you the can stitches pick, yeah, you're you can pick on. them up. See, so then you can work on them. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> they're alive. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So all right. So we wanted to thank the thank you people of Two Tangled Skeins for the shout out um, on their last last episode. It, yeah, it was wonderful. A little disappointing that we weren't in Chipmunk, but... Yeah. <laughs> that we weren't in Chipmunk. I think we were. Were we in Chipmunk? I don't know. I really enjoyed the Chipmunk. Yeah, we should yeah. see if we can get this in Chipmunk. That's <laughs> definitely worth it. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, if you know how to do it, let us know. Mm -hmm. We're going to pull the Chipmunk out. We can probably talk really, really fast and not go like this. I no, not going to do that. No, I don't. I don't really? It'll be fun. It'll be Chick Bumps. Chick Bumps. <laughs> chick Bumps. <laughs> You're hilarious. <laughs> so, so, what's new in your life? <laughs> Nothing. I knit. Look, it's a scarf. Yay, a scarf. A scarf. Um, I did go on a trip over the weekend, and yeah. the airplane wouldn't fly back in, so they diverted us to a nearby town, and then I had to bus in. But it was funny because on didn't. I didn't. My sister came and picked me up because she's so wonderful like yeah. that. So we're on the descent and they're like, you'll be landing in about 12 minutes. We hear the landing gear comes out. It goes, and you see the giant wheels Makes out the window. Sound. And so we're, we're descending, we're descending, we're descending. And all of a sudden we're, we level out. And I think we dro flew around the airport three or four times. And then all of a sudden we start going up and going up. And then they hear, as landing gear goes in and we pick up speed and we like jet off and we're like, huh, wonder what's going on. That was our stop. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like, not like Pass there's me a shoot, I'll stop at my place. <laughs> it's not it's like there's like many that. stops. It's a direct flight. Yeah. <laughs> and so they're like, oh, and then, so we wait about 10 minutes and then the flight attendant comes on and says, uh, we aren't sure what's going on. We think we're going to a different airport, but we'll let you know. Yeah. <laughs> And then the captain comes on and says, so we'll be landing in this airport in 12 minutes. And we're like, ah, we've heard this before. <laughs> the whole plane's like, we'll believe it when it happens. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and then you hear that, and then we actually landed. What was that sound again? <laughs> I know, good story, right? And I have to do the, the wheels. They're big and round. And when you're on a, a, wing, a wing seat and your little planelet... <laughs> that was planes. the problem is there was fog and the plane lit couldn't land in yeah. our airport. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're really small planes. Yeah. So, Marsha, what's new in your life? Oh, I'm feeling better. It was, She's it was sick. really ill over the weekend. And my voice is still crinkly. And I'm still tired. But, yeah, it's... Yeah. Very good. I was really happy to get that sweater off the needles. I was like, can I do it? Yes, I can. Yeah. <laughs> can she do it? Does she dare? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> Success. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, it's, it's right on the floor over here. So that's yeah. why I keep looking at yeah. it. I'm like, so it's we'll, so pretty. We'll take a picture and show it up at yeah, one throw point. It in there. We may have already done it at this point. Yeah, it may be in there. <laughs> yeah, it might be. Might not um, be. We'll see. What else? Um, ooh, Ireland's getting closer. We got our confirmations in the mail from our cottages. Yes, we did. We're very excited about that in our tri upcoming trip. Very excited. Um, that's new. Mm-hmm. We go in three months? Not even. Not even three months. It's, it's two. Two? Two and not even a half. <gasps> Yeah. It's so exciting. Not even a Not half. Not even a half. <laughs> Not even. We're really excited. Very excited. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that anyone who lives in Ireland should... Uh, Come and find us and stay at our cottages. They all sleep six and there's three of us going. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine all of these random people show, show up? up they're like, cottage. hey, we did too. Awesome party in Ireland. <laughs> No, but we could get together 
her and go for Guinness or something. Oh, I see how it is. Okay, you can't stay with us. I don't know. Well, it sleeps six, but we each want our own bed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Unless, actually, if you're the guy from the sweater um, that we showed in the last episode, you're welcome to come. You can stay with us. <laughs> what? What? The guy from the sweater from the book. I know. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You're hilarious. Speaking of which, we've gotten a lot of awesome, awesome feedback. I have laughed so hard over the last week with yeah, how, like all the fantastic. comments. Yeah, it's fantastic. Like so warming of our hearts. Yeah, I like, and it's both. It's like it's it's the positive and the we love your show, and then the we're not watching your show again, and it's all good. It's fine. Like it's it's beautiful. We know who we are, and one of our friends, we were talking to them because they watched the show. And she's like, it's actually like sitting in the living room with you, you two. That is how you are. <laughs> so yeah. this is actually how we are. And if somebody chooses not to watch it, that is fine because, mm-hmm. you know. We, yeah, we are who we are. Yeah. And yeah. This, and we love ourselves. And it's, yeah. this is not a ploy or a play. This is, this is us. This is really who we are. <laughs> Which I don't know if you think that's sad or... <laughs> But but if we can feed your happy, yes, we would like to. That's what we want to do, and so that's that's kind of our our goal is to be positive, have yeah, fun, be positive, have be fun, silly, and laugh at ourselves, laugh laugh with, with you. you. Yeah. <laughs> and we're totally open to um, to constructive criticism too. If you if Shh, don't get, invite that. <laughs> sorry, we're not inviting constructive criticism. No, we're totally <laughs> we're totally welcome for it. If there's something that you like or you don't like. Let us know. Or, you know, Unless not it's about our personality. Yeah. If it's something we can't actually change, then it's not going to happen. <laughs> like, because it's not that we don't, we have worked on ourselves and this is where we've come to. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is our progress. <laughs> this is our progress. This is a good place for us. And part, part of what fits into that so that you understand this a little bit is, um, we, we are very happy people, but we have experienced some, some pretty intense stuff in our yeah. life and, um, and he- hitting life head on with a sense of humor. It, yeah. It's the best way we've seen people come out of situations like ours and you know, they can, it can affect them negatively and it starts affecting your health if you yeah. let it. So, and we definitely have our days and on our days we decide not to podcast. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so we we try and find the positive and we try and find silver linings yeah. and we move forward from adversity. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. who we are. That's who so, we are. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you. Very much for thank tuning you. in and watching us again. Um, <laughs> excuse me. We really like... Um, we really like the feedback and the, the yeah, chatting. Yeah, we do like we the like feedback and the chit chat and photos and the, the feeling connected with you. The being connected with you. So we do enjoy that. So if if you feel like you want to connect with us, we will connect back. Mostly will, Marcia because I'm not on social media. Yeah, but, I, but if if there's something that you want to say to Scylla, she's she reads I, I everything. Read it. I read it and I, I do have a YouTube account and I can comment. Yeah, so via YouTube. Yeah, so I I show her everything that. She, that she wouldn't see otherwise. But yeah, if Marsha even sees something while I'm at work, I get a text. Yeah. She's like, you need to watch this when you get home. I'm like, all right, I'm on. Yeah, so we, we share everything, and we just want to um, invite invite you to, to come and join in with us and and to interact. Like, that's we're, – we're not untouch, untouchables, you know. Like, we just – we we enjoy the interaction. Yeah, we do. And, and if we've brightened your day, then that's – we're, you know, then yeah. we're satisfied. And we're happy. Like, we'll see you next if, time. If one person is happy, <laughs> but we've so done, creepy. <laughs> then it's good. <laughs> Do it again. So we'll see you next time. So we'll see you next time. Same time? No. No, same time, same channel. No, it's oh. not though. All right, let's try it again. Same bat time. Same bat channel. No, but it's not. It's not guaranteed. <laughs> it's I, whenever we get time. I know. It's just a saying. It's not literal. <laughs>
Same, same danger, danger time. time. <laughs> same, same danger, danger channel. channel. <laughs>